that road is EDSA on a very quiet day. Probably quarantine because there's not much vehicle uh, traversing the road. Okay. Now, the purpose of this slide is to illustrate a very simple concept called uh, risk management. Okay. Very, very simple. Now, the question, my, the objective is from you, uh, for you is to cross the road from one point from the left towards the right. And you have two options. Option one is you take the overpass. Option two is uh, Harakiri. <laughs> you cross the road. Sababa. Make a run for it. So, option one, you take the overpass. Option two, tatawid ka sababa. Which one would you choose to do? Overpass or sababa? Again, no judgment here. No, if you feel like uh, daredevil and uh, cross the roads while people, uh, cars are rushing in and out, may mga killer bus pa. If that's your fix, then you know why not. Okay. Thank you for those who have given their answer. Most of them have answered overpass. No? One is for safety, the other is for exercise. Sure. In fact, I will make an argument on the exercise. No? Pag tumakbo ka sa baba, exercise din yun. Una, 100 meter dash yun. Pangalawa, yung heart, heart rate mo malamang malala. So, magpapump ng matinding dugo. Nasa kinakabaka, kung masasagasaan ka o hindi. Now, what does it have to do with risk management? And why do we talk about it when it comes to valuation? Now, here, believe it or not, taking the overpass has a cost as versus just crossing the street. On a normal, normal, kasi ang hirap quantify na normal, assuming walang sasakyan, then the overpass uh, the value of using the overpass is lower. No, the only reason you'll take the overpass is because of regulation. Bawal mag jaywalk. Okay. Now, it's impossible to have a, a highway. So definitely, the the vehicles poses a risk to our health if we cross the street not using the overpass. But the cost of using the overpass is additional effort, additional time. Tama kayo, exercise. Kasi you have to go up the stairs, cross the overpass, then go downstairs. Buti ko wala kang buhat. Wala kang dala. Mas mahirap niya kung may dala kang TV. Pag doon TV niya, flat screen na. So mas madaling buhatin. So there's a cost in using the overpass. Kasi yung pang tumuwid ka sa baba, isang diretso lang yan, walang dumadaan sa sakyan, walang MMDA sa tabi, dire-diretso ka lang. Now, it's the same in, with business. The concept but, um, mentioned here is the higher the risk, the higher the return. The higher the assumed risk in a particular activity or business, the higher the expected return. Now, the challenge here is that, sure, so overpass, I'm safe. And there is a cost to it. The additional effort, the additional, what, 30 seconds to one minute or two minutes going up and down the overpass versus just simply crossing the street. But what's the benefit? I know the benefit of overpass, I'm safe. At least safe from the cars. But what's the benefit if I just cross the street? The benefit is you save the cost of the overpass. That's one. You save additional effort. You don't have to go up and down. 
and you save the time of what? You gain two minutes more because you get across the street faster. The question is, you know now the benefits of taking a crossing the street, Sababa. Is it worth the risk of being run down by a killer bus or being apprehended by MNDA? So, yun yung we really have to consider. Am I uh, getting compensated for the additional risk that I'm taking relative to the possible benefits I could get? This is the question that I always remember when I'm driving. Tapos, may overtake. Kasi gusto niya mabilis yung nasa harapan niya. Ayaw niya nang mabagal. Not that I drive slowly, but I'm a defensive driver. So if I don't see the benefit of driving very fast, I don't. So I'm sure, patapato sa langit, some of you might be driving before and you would see na so I'd rather overtake and have better control of my time and make it my driving faster. Sure. But what is the benefit apart from that? And is the cost of making a overtake maneuver worth it? So lagi ko sa pagdating sa Skyway or sa NLEX. Mas gusto ko na sa likod ako so that I can see everyone else. Kung nagmamadali sila, sige, mao na sila. Because I I put more value towards reaching my, my destination as safe as I can be, as safe as we can be, versus the additional, what, 30 minutes na mao na ako dun sa sa lugar na pupuntahan namin. Especially kung maaga naman kami umalis. Kung late ka, that's another issue. Bakit ka late to begin with? That, you, know, that you just put the pressure on yourself. But the question there is, am I being compensated for the risk that I'm taking vis-a-vis -vis the expected benefits? So ganun din when, we comes, when it comes to valuation, you ask that question, is this company getting the required return to compensate them for the risk they're taking. Because the higher the assumed risk, the higher the expected return. Sa gambling, mas malaki pinusta mo, mas malaki ang inaasahan mo bawi. Nga lang, pag malaki pinusta mo at natalo ka, malaki rin ang talo mo. It's also... Uh, relevant when it comes to demand and supply because when you look at a particular transaction and a transaction doesn't cost you, uh, generates value but doesn't cost as much the tendency is a lot of suppliers would be aiming towards serving uh, doing the same that increases the, the amount of supply in the market if the demand is the same the value of that the transaction goes down. Simple economics 101, equilibrium price. The equilibrium price is the price for which demand and supply are the same. So if a particular business activity is risky, you would expect that uh, there would be a lot less supplier for that business. Showing demand is constant. So we get to have an idea of how valuable a particular business is. So I hope a uh, simple illustration allowed you to have a better perspective towards the risk-return trade-off.